Hey, have you heard of Castorium, Lewis? No. Castorium, this uh, nerdy Canadian is how she would like to be referenced. Nerdy Canadian to told me about this story. Castorium is a euphemism for beaver, uh, beaver butt, I guess, is the way we're going to refer to it. It's actually in some ice creams, and it's only labeled as a natural ingredient. Incredibly, it's only required to be called a natural ingredient. You know when you see that list of other natural ingredients? You may be eating beaver butt, which is incredible because vegetarians might assume that a product that says natural ingredients um, does not, uh, is not meat. But essentially, this is kind of meat, isn't it? Uh, not really. It looks like according to this, it's like... It's some type of oil or byproduct of a, of a gland in the butt of the beaver. Right. So then, then that's not considered... Uh, well, okay, what if you're vegan? The, according to this, both male and female beavers possess a pair of caster sacs <laughs> and a pair of anal glands located in the two cavities under the skin between the pelvis and the base of the tail. So yeah. if you are a vegan, then yes, obviously this is uh, an animal product. It's also used in some perfumes. It's, it's used as a food additive, as I mentioned. Now, if you think that this is incredibly widespread, we did some research. It looks like the annual consumption is only around 300 pounds. My question is, if it's so inconsequential that there's only 300 pounds of this stuff used, don't you think that there are just alternatives and it's not really necessary to use this stuff? You would think so. I mean, what, do people have, like, beaver farms? I mean, where do you, like, how do you get this? How do you, I don't get where it comes from. The other thing is that it's used in small amounts to contribute to the flavor and odor of cigarettes. Now, it's in, By the way, the same thing that's labeled as only a natural ingredient in food is also in cigarettes. I don't like that. Interesting that a Canadian uh, sent us this. I mean, I wonder what the consumption rate is uh, in Canada because right. Canada has a lot of beavers. That's true. You know, I was actually, when I was in Montreal last weekend, I was at the Biodome. The coolest thing was the beavers. They really are incredibly busy. I mean, you think you go to a, a place where there's animals and they're just kind of hanging around. The beavers were busier than any of the staff at the Biodome. They had, they were chopping up wood with their teeth. Then they were swimming with the wood and storing it in different places. They were sharpening their nails on different other pieces of wood that were there. I mean, it was incredible. The work ethic of these beavers is unbelievable. Huh. Interesting. I'm considering hiring some as assistant producers, to be completely <laughs> honest. They're just so busy. They're, they, they have such a work ethic. Very it's productive a, animals. It's unbelievable. I've yeah. never, and I read, actually, that it's the animal that modifies their environment the most of any animal out there. Right. So perhaps they would make good interior decorators. I yeah, it's very or possible. Or bad ones, I don't know. I don't really know. Hmm. They seem to be getting along very, very well. So anyway, castorium. Know about it. Know about castor sacs. Know about beaver anus and all this stuff <laughs> because it may be in your perfume. It may be in your saltwater taffy. I mean, I don't know what foods it's even used in. Does Maybe this in your cigarettes. Does this concern you, Natan, when you read about this? Does it concern me in the sense that it, it makes me hesitant to eat foods that contain it? Or exactly. does it concern me like environmentally and killing beavers and whatnot? Either, or the fact that it's only labeled as a natural ingredient. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it doesn't really bug me that much. Uh, it is considered safe by the FDA, but you know how the FDA is. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I guess overall I'm just... Uh, I'm more concerned with what Lewis brought up, which is, you know, are, do they have beaver farms? Are beavers being killed? Can you remove the castor sacs and keep the rest of the beaver intact? Right. You know, who knows what's going on? Yeah, a lot of questions there. Yeah. It's a strange situation.